welcome to our class today we are going to complete our study material direct indirect grammar part from page number 166 to 173 as we have completed our textbook how to write a reported speech now let us see in the material the rules and regulations again in completing direct and indirect speech come on open the page number 166 What is called direct speech when the actual or exact words of the speaker are said it is said to be in the direct speech the direct speech is written in quotation marks speech means the actual words of a speaker those will be given in the quotations whereas indirect speech when the actual or exact words of the speaker are changed and reported with out changing the meaning it is said to be in the indirect speech quotation marks are not used in the indirect speech the words which are spoken actual words or exact words what we call of the speaker are changed and reported how the second person is going to tell what he had said but without changing the meaning come on let's see the example you will understand the man said i am not interested in this deal see here who is the speaker the man said is the reporting verb given in the past tense in quotations whatever is given is called as speech i am not interested in this deal and make it clear in the speech the tense which is given identify carefully so that you can change i will tell you what are the tenses changes first let's see this example the man said that to remove the quotations we are adding a conjunction that i refers to the man so the pronoun what we use here he am is in the present tense changing into past form was not interested in this changes into that that deal so we are removing the quotations number 1 second we are adding a conjunction that third changing the tenses according to the given situation now the rules first one when a direct speech is changed into an indirect speech one must primarily consider two things what are they the tense of the reporting verb means see says said said to will or other modal verbs is coming under reporting verb the type of the sentence in the direct speech whether it is an assertive or interrogative imperative exclamatory this too you should observe while changing a direct speech into indirect speech the reporting verb depends on the type of sentence the tense of the reporting verb changes only when the reporting verb is in the past tense please make a note when it is going to change when the reporting verb is in the past tense the change of tense is shown below so if it is given as reporting verb see or says they are talking about the present reporting verbs so when the reporting verbs are present please don't change the speech now have a clear look now past form reporting verb past form v2 means what do we say said or said to are the past form reporting verbs in direct speech if you observe in quotations if you observe present tense v1 or v1 as form it should be changed into past form in indirect speech means a simple thing to keep in your mind in the quotations what is given if the tense is present please change the tense into past form v1 or v1 as changes into v2 and again reporting verb is said or said to and in direct speech the speech is given in the past it changes into past perfect what is that had plus v3 so v2 changes into past tense changes into past perfect structure had plus v3 if the reporting verb is given as said or said to in direct speech if you see has or have or had has or have refers to present tense had refers to past tense plus v3 form it changes into 
again past perfect had plus v3. So has or have or had again changes to had plus v3. If the reporting verb is in the past, if present verbs like is or am is used, it changes to was. If it is given as are, changes to was or were. If the was or were helping verbs are given in the direct speech, it changes into, as we have seen, past tense change into past perfect. Where was or were are main verbs, change into had been. Don't forget this. If don't or doesn't plus V1 forms are given, as we all know, don't and doesn't comes under present tense. So, present change into past. What is the past form of do? Did. So, negative didn't plus V1. Though did is used, you are not supposed to use V2. Every time we are observing this, did always follows with V1. Didn't plus V1, when past is given, had plus V3. So, had in negative form, had in plus V3. If will changes to modal verbs, what are the changes? Till now, we have observed the helping verbs or main verbs, how to be changed. Now, modal verbs like will, shall, can, may changes to past form. Will change to would, shall, would or should, can, could, may, might. Whereas past forms are given like would, could, should, might, there are no changes. You will repeat the same modal verbs. Would, would, could, could, should, should, might, might. And must, we have two. Must with time reference if it is talking, please change must into had to. Where it is talking about prohibition, must remains as must. If the time changes, reference is given had to. Or prohibition must. Now coming to question forms. Do or does plus subject plus V1. Conjunction plus subject plus V2. Did plus subject plus V1. Conjunction plus subject plus had plus V3. Now example. He said I am speaking the truth. Now observe the reporting verb. Which tense? Past tense. Said is a past tense. Speech. I am speaking the truth, which tends present continuous. If the present continuous is given, it should be changes into past continuous. Means what are the changes? Said that. Now he, subject is he, said that. I refers to whom? Speaker. Who is the speaker? He. There is no second person here. He said to me, he said to Raghu, he said to Raju. Nothing is given. So he said that. I am speaking. I refers to person. He was speaking the truth. Ali said to me, I was waiting for you. Now Ali is speaking to someone else. Said to me means myself is there. Ali told me. Said to change into told. Where said reminds us said. Please do remember this. Said reminds said. Where said to changes into told. Ali told me that. Ali. I refers to Ali. He was waiting. Already we have seen the structure was or were changes to had been. So he had been waiting for me. I can carry this bag said the band. Sometimes the speakers will be given at the end or else at the beginning. But always right at the beginning. The man said that. Now modal verbs how do it change? Can, could, may, might as we have seen. Now I can refers to the man. The man said that he could carry this changes into that bag. The above chart would help you convert direct speech to indirect. Please go through this chart. Until and unless you get the chart, you cannot change any kind of sentences. Now the following denoting nearness of time and place while changing into words showing distance as. Now now. N-O-W change into then, indirect, indirect only. This, that, here, there, these, those. So, repeating again, now changes to then, this, that, here, there, these, those. Now, turn your pace. The rest continuation, today, that day. Tomorrow, the following day or you can also write the next day. Ago, before, yesterday, the previous day, the day before. Just now, please change it. 
how is given change into now just now just then next week or next year changes to the following week or the following year they should be learned by you he said i repaired this radio only yesterday now how do we change he said that repaired past tense so he had repaired the radio this radio change into that radio only yesterday changes to the previous day now answer he said that he had repaired that radio radio only the previous day now while changing an interrogative sentence into indirect speech the question is changed into statement this is very very important there are two kinds of interrogatives one is direct open ended questions closed ended questions what is open ended question open ended questions mean beginning with wh or how closed ended modal verbs or do forms now come on let's see the example he said to them can you follow me see the identification of the sentences are very important can you follow me is the speech given in interrogative so can it begin with the modal verb how do we change if question mark is given it should be used as asked he asked them never change said or said to to told because the speech is given in interrogative he asked them when modal verbs or the closed ended questions were given if for whether your choice either use if or w h e t h e r whether should be used change into assertive how do we change assertive pronoun plus helping verb if or whether you refers to they can change to could follow him see always interrogative change into assertive the man said to the little girl when will your father return from office again the speech is given in interrogative so the man asked the little girl it is a open ended question wh when changing into assertive what do we do pronoun plus helping verb when you were refers to the little girl so when her father would will change to would return from office remember in interrogative first one there are two kinds one is open close open ended begins with wh and change into assertive whereas the closed ended add if for whether and change into assertive while changing an exclamatory sentence into indirect speech the interjections you know hurray alas etc should be dropped what or how change into very great salas talks about sorrowful situation so changing into sorrow or with sorrow ala hurray hurray changes into with joy with delight there are many words you can use where what or how what a beautiful flower what a beautiful dress and change what or how into very or great now let's see example you will understand they said hurray we have won the match see the exclamatory mark hurray after now how do we change set changes into exclaim because the speech is given in exclamatory the exclaimed hurray change into with joy that we refers to they they have changed into have won present perfect change into past perfect they had won the match he said how sweetly she sings he exclaimed that she sang very sweetly now difference between the two examples is assertive sentence we have one hurray is already changed with joy whereas second one how sweetly how or what changes into very or great when the direct speech begins with letters the reporting verb in the indirect speech must be suggested or you can also write proposed should is used in the second clause he said let us wait here for some more time now what do we say he proposed that let always changes into we we should should is must we should wait there for some more time she said to him let us be friends she suggested to him that they should be friends exceptions the tense of the verb the tense of the verb in the direct speech does not change in the following cases when change into indirect 
what are the exceptions you will be observed there are three universal truth proverbs are given and next when the tense is given in the present or future now universal truth you all know the earth is spherical said the scientist the scientist said that the earth is spherical we are not changing any tense here because it is a fact galileo said the earth revolves around the sun galileo said that the earth revolves around the sun now proverbs he said face is the index of the mind repeat the same answer by re removing the quotations we add that he said that face is the index of mind honesty is the best policy said the teacher how do we write now you can say the teacher said that honesty is the best policy when the reporting verb is in the present tense or future tense the tense of the verb in the direct speech does not change when changed into indirect at the beginning we have observed say says will say so when they are given in present or future like the servant says i am speaking the truth the servant says that he or she either male or female according to situation he is speaking i am speaking is a present so we'll change again to present tense he is speaking the truth he says to everyone i am a magician says changes into tells he tells everyone that he is a magician they will say you spoiled everything they will say that you refers to i spoiled everything now make a note what are the three we are not going to change universal truth proverbs and changing the tense of reporting verbs like present or future now come on let's start the exercise your son broke my window pane my neighbor said to me now said to is given who is the speaker my neighbor to whom to you so my neighbor said to change into told me that the speech is given in assertive statement that your son refers to my son broke underline the tense so broke change into past change into past perfect had broken whose window pane neighbors so his window pane the lady said to ragu i don't believe you and your words now said to change to told and the speech is given in assertive the lady told ragu that she did didn't believe him and his words don't believe change into past form the master said to the servant pause this letter at once now look at the speech given in imperative the master ordered the servant said to we are not going to change into told why because it is given in imperative change according to the sentences ordered the servant now imperative begins with to to pause this change to that letter at once she said to me please wait here till i return this is also an imperative statement beginning with please so please change into requested she requested me to wait here change to there till she returns p1 as form why were you absent from school yesterday said the teacher now the speech is given in interrogative the teacher asked so open ended or closed open ended so why changing into assertive i had been absent from school the day before or the previous day so be careful why you refers to myself there i were changed into past perfect had been absent from school yesterday changed to the previous day if you are aware of the structures it is so easy to change the stranger said to me can you show me the way to the railway station it is also given in the interrogative and it is the closed ended the stranger asked me if or whether i could show him the way to the railway station the old miser said alas i am cheated exclamatory the old miser exclaimed with sorrow that he was cheated she said how cold it is she exclaimed that it was very cold now turn the people said may our king live long see me exclamatory sentence the people prayed that their king might live long 
he said to his wife let us see a movie today he suggested his wife that they should see a movie that day now while doing lot of exercise you will be improved a lot and you get a lot of practice now let's start the assignment one she said to me you have done the job extremely well now which sentence it is assertive okay and said to is given changing into past and the tenses what has to be changed have done is a present perfect changing into past perfect that's it now start she told me that i had done the job extremely well the boy said i really do not know how i could make such a blunder now said is the reporting verb do not know is the tense given and the speech is assertive the boy said that he really do not change into didn't know or did not know how boy refers to i here he could make such a blunder could reminds as could nira said to dheeraj i moved into my new house yesterday said to change speech assertive mood is the past tense past change into past perfect nira told dheeraj that he had moved into his new house the previous day okay now try for 4 to 10 and make it now assignment 2 Change the following interrogative sentences into indirect speech. David said, "Have you finally managed to find a proper job?" It is given in the interrogative. Is it open or closed? Closed ended. So, what do we add? If or whether. David asked, "If or whether I had finally managed to find a proper job?" Hira said to Mira is this your final decision on the subject Hira asked Mira if for whether that was her final decision on the subject He said to me do you believe in ghost stories He asked me if for whether I believed in ghost stories because do is present believe is the v1 so changing it to past The team manager said is it possible that the team could be involved in match fixing the team manager asked if or whether it was possible that the team could be involved in match fixing now try 5 to 10 in page number 171 and assignment 3 is also of the same models please try and check your answers at the end of our video now turn your page assignment 4 He said, "What a beautiful painting it is!" Now, which sentence? Exclamatory. He exclaimed that it was a very beautiful painting. He looked at the statue and said, "How magnificent it is!" He looked at the statue and exclaimed that it was very magnificent. He said, "Alas, I am undone." She exclaimed with sorrow that she was undone. The principal said to Abraham, "Congratulations, you have stood first." The principal congratulated Abraham that he had stood first. Now let's try for you, remaining five to ten, and check your answers. Now last, this is a new model which is given in the tenth class, indirect, indirect. So till now we have done a single sentence is given and it was changed. Now. when two conversations were given how do we state the same model no change here and let's see how we are going to do it wani did you enjoy your trip to agra rani yes it was wonderful now who are speaking here wani and rani wani asked rani if she had enjoyed her trip to agra commonly as you write every time now rani replied that it had been wonderful a uh, rani replied positively that it had been wonderful both are right because s is given no so you can write positively second boss why are late praveen because i overslept boss asked praveen why he was late praveen explained explained that he had overslept 
Prasad have finally completed the project report. How Rohit can I see it? Prasad told Rohit that he had finally completed the project report. Rohit asked Prasad if he could see it. Nikhil, what is your future plan? Ram, I want to go to New York next year for higher studies. Nikhil asked Ram what his future plan was. Ram said that he wanted to go to New York next year for higher studies. Nitya, are you aiming for a state rank? Shanti, yes I am. Nitya asked Shanti if she was aiming for a state rank. Shanti replied positively that she was aiming for the state rank. Or you can leave positively that she was your wish to write. Okay now, now check your answers. What is given to you as a homework. And practice it well by taking your own example so it will be easy to do direct indirect speech. So thank you. Have a wonderful day.